innovation tax. Uh, I, I, I yield time. I thank the gentleman for yielding. I also thank the gentleman for his leadership. We were pleased to welcome you uh, to Indiana, and I know you get that same kind of welcome all over the nation. Uh, Mr. Paulson, I, I, I think, has done an excellent job in making sure that this issue uh, not only was formulated the right way, not only was formulated in a bipartisan way, but now has, is on the verge of, uh, of coming uh, through committee and to the floor so we can take action. And what action are we speaking of? There's an insidious tax that was put in the uh, new health care law, colloquially referred to as Obamacare, a 2.3% tax on innovation. Now, I often get asked in Indiana's 4th District and, and other places around, us, around the state, how do we stay competitive? Why are you letting jobs go overseas? And I'm the first to point out that the success of this country the success of this nation, if we are to be prosperous, maintain and increase our prosperity in the 21st century, we have got to stay a step or two or five ahead of our competition. You know, in Indiana, we're not competing with people in Fort Wayne or in Jeffersonville or in Terre Haute. We're competing with people from places that we can barely pronounce meaning not in the United States. And no country was ever successful ultimately by building a wall, whether it's a physical wall like we found in ancient China or an economic wall like we see with tariffs or in this case taxes on companies, on an industry that continues to innovate, that continues to keep us on the cutting edge of, the wor uh, of what the world is doing in this area. That's important. That is the key to our success. By taxing these devices, by taxing this industry, you're not going to get more of it. You're not going to get more innovation. You're going to get less. If you want less of something, you tax it. And by the way, when you do that, you're not even going to get more revenue to pay for that all-inclusive, government-run, bureaucrat-interpreted health care system. So I'm really pleased to be a co-sponsor. Uh, it was really, I, I continue to learn on this issue. I learned a lot uh, from the field hearing that was done. I'd like to echo the point that was made. This was a bipartisan hearing. Just like in the last hour, we saw in a bipartisan way, we have to live within our means and we can do that through a balanced budget amendment. We had Democrats come and speak on that. Well, at that, on the field hearing on the medical device tax, we had a bill repeal. We had that same kind of bipartisanship. Bipartisanship does exist. It exists in Indiana. And with this bill, it can exist here on the House floor as well. I was alarmed as well. It was, uh, the, the person testifying was uh, Steve Ferguson from the Cook Group. And Mr. Cook, when he started uh, 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 his company, he started from a spare bedroom in his apartment and grew it to a multi-billion dollar operation. He's one of the best examples of an American success story. And his partner, Mr. Steve Ferguson, who testified, I'll, I'll back up Mr. Paulson in this, said when, when new startup, uh, startups come to him, when young men and women come with an idea and want to start a company, he says, go to Europe. Not because he isn't a true-blooded American patriot, but because he's given honest advice. Now, what does that say about our federal government? Or what does that say about our bureaucracy? When instead of going through the FDA approval process, the best advice is to go to the bureaucracy of a union of countries that can barely stay afloat because of the debt they're incurring. Where does that put us in a 21st century world? Where does that put us in terms of our ability to continue innovating, in terms of our ability to be prosperous? We have got to put the swords down, as it was said earlier. We have got to come together and realize that it's that innovation, it's that economic freedom, it's that liberty to associate and provide the equal opportunity for, your, for one's own success 
that has made us the best and most successful experiment in self-governance that the world has ever known. And as a result, has kept us on the cutting edge of, cutting edge of, of, of profit-making innovations that employ people, that keep taxes low. Well, we've proven time and time again that the way to success is doing the opposite of levying a tax, by letting individual men and women rise and fall on their own decisions. That's what this medical device bill does. Thank you for sponsoring this time, Representative Paulson. It's been an honor and a privilege and a pleasure to work with you, and I yield back. I thank the gentleman again for his leadership. I just want to mention, too,